Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math SAT Tips and Techniques video. We're going to look at the skill set of turning sentences into equations today. So on the SAT, you'll often get questions where an equation is presented as a sentence with words instead of symbols, and it's your job to translate these words into a set of symbolic notation. Um, so here we have uh, the basic operations equals plus minus times and divided by. And so we're going to look at some common words that you'll see that correspond to each of these operations. So when you see, when you have an equal sign, often words that will correspond to this, aside from is equal to or amounts to, um, you also see the words like represents. Um, so I'll start writing these down. Another one is amounts to, as in these two quantities amount to something else. And another one, probably the most common, is just the word is. Um, these two quantities, um, or this quantity and this quantity, is you know, the same as something else. So those are various um, keys to look out for. And when you see some of these words in a sentence, you'll know that you're dealing with an equation where two sides are equal to each other. Um, for the operation of addition, um, look for words such as the sum of, um, and, or more. For example, three more than four. That would correspond to three plus four. Um, another would be increased by. Or you would see a number increased by five, where that would be x plus five. Um, for subtraction, you'll see th words such as uh, the difference between, minus obviously less than, Decreased by, as to go along with increased. Now, as you'll remember with subtraction, um, it's different from addition in that subtraction is not commutative. So order will matter in the sentence. Uh, if you see this, the phrase, the difference between 5 and 4, that means 5 minus 4. Um, 5 minus 4. And if you see something that says 5 less than 4, then you'll know you have to switch around because 5 less than 4 is actually going to be 4 take away 5. So that'll correspond to 4 minus 5. Again, you need to pay attention to the order that these words appear in your sentence. Um, for multiplication, probably the most important word that you often don't think of as multiplication uh, is the word of. Now this isn't like the sum of, not, not that kind of of, but when you see half of a number or in terms of percents, 40% of $50. Um, in that case, the word of is actually meaning times. So half of a number means one half times that number. Um, other words you would see times, obviously. Or the product of. Um, so for last one, division, this is fairly straightforward. Um, you'll see divided by or the quotient of. Um, that's pretty much the most I can think of.
So keep a lookout for any of these words uh, whenever you see a word problem um, and know what symbol those correspond to, uh, especially if English isn't really your thing. Um, and if you think of any more words that correspond to symbols, uh, comment below and help us out. Um, so now we're going to look at a couple different examples of uh, sentences and we're going to turn them into a word problem together. Okay, so the first one is 10% of 25. So what operation is being done here? We see the word of, and remember we said when you see in the word of in this context, that usually means times. So 10% of 25 means 10% times 25. And as we know, to convert a number from percent into a decimal, just move the decimal point over two places. That was easy. Okay, the second one. 10 times the sum of a number and 3. All right, so I see a bunch of different operations in this one. I see the sum of, so it's a, uh, addition. I see times, I see um, multiplication, and, and goes with the sum of. So let's read it left to right. 10 times the sum of a number and 3. So in sentences, order is always very important. Um, so we'll start at the left end and say 10 times the sum of. So it sounds like 10 is being multiplied by a sum. Um, so we're going to have to insert parentheses here. A number and 3. Let's say n and 3. That's the sum of a number and 3. And it's 10 times that sum. Now compare this one to the next problem we're going to do. The sum of 10 times a number and 3. Here it's the same operations, the same numbers, but the order is switched around. Here we have the sum of 10 times the number and 3. So because the sum comes first, it's this quantity and this quantity being added together. So we have 10 times the number plus 3. Here there are no parentheses. So as you can see, these are different equations. This Here the 10 would be distributed to the n and to the 3. Whereas here, it's just 10n plus 3. Um, next one. 4 times the difference between a number and 5 is 16. All right, let's try working left to right. 4 times the difference between, OK, so let's stop and say there's probably going to be a parenthesis here. The difference between a number and 5. So that's going to be a number minus 5. Remember, we said the difference between that subtraction. Uh, and here's our keyword is, that means equal to, 16. The next example is the sum of a number and two-thirds of that number is 15. All right, here I see our keyword of again. And this is another case where of means multiply. So because it's a sum of a number and two-thirds of that number, we're using the same number twice. So let's say the number is n added to 2 thirds of n. So it's 2 thirds times n. And that is equal to 15. Last one. The sum of two numbers is 21. The product of 4 and the smaller number is 1 less than the larger number. All right, so it sounds like there's two equations in this one, because there's two sentences. Um, already I'm a bit nervous, because we're talking about the larger number and the smaller number. Um, Let's start with the first, first sentence. The sum of two numbers is 21. So let's just call them x and y. That sounds fairly simple to write down. Now we think, does it matter which number is the smaller number and which one's the larger number? As long as we get our um, quantity straight, it should all work itself out. So the product of 4 and the smaller number, I'm going to arbitrarily say that x is the smaller number. So that's 4 times x, is, that's another keyword uh, for equals, 1 less than the larger number. So x is the smaller number. We're going to say y is the larger number. And 1 less than y is going to be y minus 1. Remember, even though we have 1 appearing first in the sentence, 1 less than the larger number, um, to translate into that, that into symbols, we need to switch those quantities around. So it's y minus 1. 
Um, so this sentence is rep represented by that system of equations, and it should be fairly, fairly simple to solve. Um, so that's, that's a couple of examples of turning sentences into equations. Um, it's a very good skill to have on the SAT. You'll see lots of word problems and um, various things of that sort. So thanks for watching. <laughs>